is happening everybody on YouTube, Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com, coming back to you with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you 10 tweed jackets that sold on eBay. So this is going to be one of those videos where you definitely want to watch all the way through, you want to take out a pen, a pad, take some notes, because you're going to learn some really cool items that you could start picking up to make some money and uh, you know not all these items are going to be the most profitable but there's definitely profit to be made in each one of these items each one of these brands so hopefully you enjoy first item that sold is the brand Hagger and as you can see it's a really nice uh, sport coat two button style tweed and tweed's one of those materials that it's, it's really thick it keeps you warm it's it's very popular in like the fall time the winter time outdoors stuff like that this actually has leather patches on the elbows which is an excellent selling point but Hagger is a it's kind of a lower end brand in my opinion I don't really pick it up often but if you do see it in tweed as you can see in front of you it will sell um, and this one actually was listed for $64.99 and looks like the seller took a best offer for $25 so I mean like I said not super profitable but if you live in an area like myself where you can get items for two, three bucks on a half off days, you could definitely make some money selling it at 25. Now you're not going to get rich, but you could you could definitely make some money. So it all depends where you are in your business, what your profit margins are. But uh, yeah, Hagger. Next item that sold is another lower end brand in my opinion. The brand is Lands In. But I'm telling you, these tweed jackets seem to do really well, especially the ones that have like a cool color, like this one. It's just a nice brown color, or it has leather elbow patches, or it has the leather buttons. Very cool selling points that help these items sell. But Lands In is the brand. Let me see if I can show you the tag. There you go. It's not the best picture. But it sold for $59.99, two-button style, 42 regular, which is a pretty common size. And uh, definitely some good potential to make money in here for this item. 100% wool, tweed, brown tweed, two-button style, center back vent. Nice listing. Next up is a brand that I actually just sold the other day. It wasn't a tweed jacket, but it was a two-button, uh, gold-button style blazer. The brand is Evan Pacone, if that's how you pronounce it. 38 small or short, I'm sorry, with elbow patches. Let's see if I can show you them. There you go. Really nice item. The uh, the seller did a good job at taking a very nice clean picture. $79.95. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, I would have never thought that you could get that much for an item like this, but it just proves, you know, you, you give a nice title, take nice pictures, make a, a nice description. I mean, you could sell these things for some good cash. So uh, Evan Pacone right there, $79.95. Here we have a brand that I haven't sold much. I've sold it a few times. Seems like the prices for this brand are all over the board, but the brand is Cricketeer, 45 regular. Here you go. And I like what the, uh, the seller did. I'm not sure if they copied and pasted the tag or whatever if you see at the bottom or if they have spare ones that they put there i'm not sure how they did that but that's really cool uh, i like how the the seller differentiated his listing from the competition very nice picture i like that as well opening up the jacket to see the lining inside nice presentation i mean not the the greatest pictures but i like how the seller is really you know doing things differently and this kind of motivates me to start doing things different because i think on eBay when you're selling clothes it's really important to try to separate yourself from the crowd to look different um, you know to stand out and the seller did a good job and he sold this item for 35 bucks so if you pick this thing up for three four dollars definitely a good opportunity to make some money here we have a Ralph Lauren sport coat tweed as well nice herringbone style to it the herringbone stuff does really well this is the rugby style take a look at the tag right here let me see looks like this was actually new with tags wow I didn't even know that 38 short looks like it was $348 brand new in the store that's crazy and the uh, the rugby style does pretty well I've sold the rugby style in the Ralph Lauren brand with button front shirts polo shirts I don't think I've ever sold a sport coat like this but uh just shows you can make some good money two bids 119 buckaroos keep your eye out for that next item is the brand Imperial clothing I'm not very familiar with this brand to be honest with you let's take a look at the tag I've never bought or sold this, but I found it on the sold listings and thought it would be interesting to share with you. Imperial clothing, blue and gray, two-button style, tweed, 44 long. Nice pictures. Again, just another example of the seller differentiating himself from other sellers. He's got the brick background. Really cool. Um, this only sold for, I think it sold for $29.99, best offer if I remember correctly. $19.99. So not that much profit in it. I don't even know why I showed you this, but... 
I think the main reason I showed you was just because it was a cool picture or a nice item. But, uh, you know, pick it up for a dollar on a dollar day. I know some of you guys have that at your Goodwill. You can still make some money, but nice listing right there. I just thought it looked cool. Here we have the brand Alexander Lloyd. Definitely one of those brands that can make you some money. And the reason why I believe this brand sells uh, pretty well is because it's really big. Like, every time I find this brand, it's always like a 50 or a 54 or a 56 or even a 60. I mean, this brand makes their jackets huge. And this is a very interesting style of a coat right here. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. I don't know why the buttons are so far over to the one side. Uh, if anybody knows what that's called, let me know. But uh, unique, different, big, and it sold for, I think it sold for 25 Let me see what it what it went for, 25 bucks. Again, you know, not the most profit, but if you are like me and you live in an area where you can get items cheap for a few dollars, these are the types of items that are going to be sitting. Not a lot of people are going to buy these brands. Not a lot of pickers are going to buy these brands or customers. And they're just going to sit and they're going to sit and they're going to sit. So like I said, if you can get them cheap, pick them up and make some money. Here we have a really high-end brand. This is Hackett London. Definitely one of those brands that are going to be a little more difficult to come across on a daily basis. But I've found this brand several times. I'm not sure if I ever found it in a sport coat. But I have found it with button front shirts. And I actually just found a really nice Hack at London polo shirt the other day, believe it or not. Had a really big embroidery on the back, and it's going to sell for some good money. But a higher end brand uh, can definitely make you some money. This is size 44 long. A lot of times you're going to find like the London brands or the Italian brands um, bigger than they actually are. Usually it's, it's 10 more. So, like, if it's a 44 long, it'll probably say like a 54. So, it's just a little trick to minus 10 to get the U.S. sizing. But it looks like this is a 54 and their sizing at 44 in the U.S., 184.99, pretty awesome right there. Keep her out for that brand. Really nice color, nice presentation. Again, seller did a great job at differentiating himself. He's outside taking pictures. It's just unique. I like I like what he did. Here we have another brand that I haven't sold before. I'm pretty sure I haven't sold it. I may have maybe once. Uh, the brand is Strathmore. And again, this is another herringbone style sport coat, two button style, just with the regular buttons. And that sold for $59.99. Pretty cool right there. Again, I think that's the same seller we saw. Uh, he's got that brick background. So, hey, if you got a brick, uh, I can't even talk, a brick background, give it a shot. Looks like these items are selling. And the last item I want to talk about is the brand Paul Stewart, another really high end brand. I've sold this brand countless times, not only with sport coats, but with button front shirts mostly, um, and even like pants. They'll do really well if you find like a wool cashmere blend. But uh, yeah, nice color, nice presentation. Sold for $49.99, 46 long. Let's take a look at the description. Very nice template. Looks good, nice and clean. So hopefully you folks enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned some new uh, information in terms of sport coats or just tweed jackets. There's definitely money to be made. Again, like I said in the beginning, these things aren't going to get you rich. But um, even lower end brands and more common brands can make you some money in the tweed material. You know, especially if it's a nice color or if you've got the leather patches or you've got the le leather buttons. Definitely some good stuff to look into. And a lot of these items will be sitting for weeks and weeks at a time. And when the half off days come, pick them up. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. But uh, keep up picking and making the money. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.